A Film in Three Minutes, Mephisto. Meine Damen und Herren, herzlich willkommen to an evening of unforgettable drama and unparalleled performance. May I present the masterful maestro of Mistopheles, star of stage and screen, the greatest actor of his generation, Hendrik Hofgen. Nothing can prepare you for the journey he will take you on, one filled with charming delights, exquisite extravagance, and yes, terrifying consequences in Istvan Sabo's 1981 Oscar-winning Mephisto. A superb exploration about the cost's personal ambition demands in a world where one must be willfully blind to achieve it. Set in early 1930s Hamburg, the story follows provincial performer Hofgen, played by Klaus Maria Brandauer, who craves the spotlight and desires to become Germany's greatest actor. As Hofgen's star rises after a magnificent performance as Mephisto from the tragic play Faust, so does the shadow of the swastika of the incoming Nazi government, who see in the actor a perfect representative of their ideology, co-opting Hofgen and sponsoring his career as the dark reality of the Nazi state begins to make itself known. Based on the novel by Klaus Mann, who modelled Hofgen's persona on his brother-in-law, real-life actor Gustav Grundgens, Mephisto is both a historical drama and a timeless morality tale that keeps its focus squarely on its star. The creeping, insidious changes happening in German politics are experienced solely through Hofgen's eyes, whose awareness and inclination towards them is one of casual indifference. Indeed, his persona is a paradox reflective of the tumultuous times Nazi Germany engendered, where true opinions must be kept hidden, identities must be masked, the individual self-censors, where one, in short, is constantly performing, the perfect environment for an ambitious yet gravely naive actor to thrive in. Brandauer has the role of a lifetime playing the eccentric Hofgen, who constantly jumps between emotional extremes when performing to both the crowd and his confidants. He is manic, electrifying, Charming, mercurial, vain, contemplative, arrogant, insecure, sexually charged, and even impotent. A creature who lacks a true personality of his own, and whose myopic ambition has blinded him from his surroundings. Surroundings which will soon become a cage for the unwitting actor as his prominence in Nazi circles grows, with particular favour bequeathed to him by the nameless general based on Hermann Göring. Leaving Hofgen to realise, only too late, that his career is itself a Faustian pact from which there is no escape, transforming him into a lonely figure, stood on a stage, a collection of monsters his only audience, rehearsing his lines, always speaking through a flower, and truly giving the performance of his life, because his life now depends on it.